Good evening and thank you for joining us. We're going to begin tonight with major news from here in the nation's capital. After nearly three decades on the Supreme Court, Justice Stephen Breyer is expected to retire. Sources tell CBS News that the 83-year-old will stay on the bench for the rest of this consequential term, deciding on major cases like abortion rights, and he'll wait until the Senate confirms a successor. The liberal justice is under pressure from the left to step down while Democrats maintain control of the Senate and the White House, so his replacement won't change the ideological makeup of the nation's highest court. In recent years, Breyer has found himself in the dissent on a bench that has moved more to the right with a 6-3 to three conservative majority. President Biden will now be given the opportunity to fulfill a campaign promise and appoint the first black female Supreme Court justice. We have two reports tonight, starting with CBS's chief legal correspondent, Jan Crawford. Good evening, Jan. Some big news today. It could literally change the face of the Supreme Court, Nora. Now, Justice Breyer let President Biden know last week uh, that he plans to retire this summer, and so that's now shifting the focus to who will replace him. The court's most senior liberal, Justice Stephen Breyer, made the decision that was widely expected, giving President Biden his first Supreme Court nomination and a chance to fulfill a campaign pledge. I'm looking forward to making sure there's a black woman on the Supreme Court. The top candidates are all sitting judges. The frontrunner, 51-year-old federal appeals court judge Katanji Brown Jackson, a Harvard Law School graduate who is a law clerk for Justice Breyer. Nominated in 1994 by President Clinton, Breyer has been a pragmatic justice, a defender of civil rights, and a staunch opponent of the death penalty. Engaging and well-liked by his colleagues, he also likes to talk and listen, as he told me in this conversation in 2019. Sit down with a colleague and yes. say, or try to change their mind. Yes, I might. Mm -hmm. But I've learned over time that everyone on the court, of course, wants everyone to agree with them about everything <laughs> all the time. There's long been speculation about when Breyer, an older justice, though still as mentally sharp and active as ever, would retire. Where? You're not going anywhere. Well, I certainly don't intend to. <laughs> but that was a year before Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away, giving President Trump his third Supreme Court nomination. Breyer, an ardent defender of keeping the court separate from politics, resisted a drumbeat of pressure from progressives last year that he stepped down so President Biden could replace him. When exactly I should retire or will retire uh, has many complex parts to it. I think I'm aware of most of them. This year, the decision which the left hoped for was his own. And Jan Crawford is back with us from the Supreme Court. So, Jan, tell us about President Biden's shortlist and the frontrunner, Judge Katanji Brown Jackson. Well, I mean, behind Judge Jackson's strong credentials and, of course, that clerkship uh, with Justice Breyer, I think what makes her an early favorite is that she was recently confirmed by the Senate to the prestigious Federal Court of Appeals here in D.C. with 53 votes, including three Republicans. And also, if the White House is thinking about moving really quickly on this, which our sources suggest that they are, that means that she's also been recently vetted and extensively vetted. She even uh, met uh, with President Biden. But, of course, some of the other potential nominees on that shortlist have been recently vetted as well, Nora. I know you'll be watching closely, Jan Crawford. Thank you.